right, um, this part we're going to make a uh, dampened GoPro mount and um, from the same template I downloaded this the template for the uh, main plates I the uh, dampened GoPro mount was also there um, and I don't know, some of you may remember that a couple of videos ago I made a portable GoPro mount um, which I'm going to be using on this one and um, I've already marked marked up where this dampened GoPro mount is so I'm just going to mark up again so that's the size of the dampened GoPro mount or dampened the uh, portable GoPro mount and as you can see it's a little bit wider than this one but what we're going to do is we're simply going to extend it so um, you can see that's the normal size and then we place this in the middle and we'll cut that size so you can see this is also perfectly the perfect size so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm simply gonna place this. Yeah, it's in, the, in it's in the middle. Yes, it is. So I'm simply gonna mark it up like that. So this line we can forget about. This is where we're going to cut. So, we've now got our dampened GoPro mount for the tricopter, and um, now we're going to uh, to mount it. So I'm going to cut out four um, pieces of this petrol petrol tube for one of my petrol cars to make the anti-vibration GoPro mount, and um, this is um, I've already cut out two. Ouch. Stick it in. Four. So now I've got four, and I've marked four spots here on this uh, plate. I just laid it under the uh, frame, the main plates, and saw where I was able to um, to put the zip ties around. And um, these are the places I, uh, I came up with. I'm just going to cut these slits open so I'll be able to get a zip tie around. It doesn't move around. So I'll just use a drill. So, now we've got this drilled out or made holes, so you're going to fit just one zip tie through each and um, line it up with the heart on the rough side of the zip tie down, make it face down. So now we're going to take the portable GoPro mount um, that I've made and made a video of and lay it up here and say, oh, it fits, and then move on. Um, once you've aligned it as you like, like that, and then you can get this off, of course, but it doesn't matter, and use a pencil. 
just mark up the center of the holes like that. You now mark the center of the holes. And um, now take a um, four millimeter, which is this one, a four millimeter drill, and drill up these holes so they will fit the bolts you're going to mount the portable GoPro mount. Once you've drilled out your holes and um, so they fit the reps, you can just go ahead and um, see if the holes fit. And mine does, so that's perfect. Now, what you need to do, or what you want to do, is um, get yourself just a thin piece of of some sort of foam board or anything that is a little, a little flexible, not very flexible, but just a little bit. You want to cut that. It should aligns, which is there. Not very pretty, but it'll do. And you're gonna also cut so the holes won't get disturbed. So that's it almost. So, now the holes won't get disturbed by this piece of foam. And what you want to do is take some double sided mounting foam, flip this around, and get a sax. And then you want to, to mount double sided tape on this. Particular board here, and the other side as well. If it doesn't fit, you can just cut it afterwards, cut the sides afterwards. But with me, they do. Let's just go a little bit off. And then peel this off, the, uh, the protecting layer, and go ahead and mount another piece, oops, another layer that goes this way. Very strong and sticky. Right. Now I just go ahead and match the sides so it won't disturb the holes or anything else. This I can reuse. This I can't. So once you've done that you want to go ahead and mount mount it on here. So peel these off peel those off and mount it right so the holes won't get disturbed by the foam, just like that. And you see this is able to flex a little bit. And you can now go ahead and mount the GoPro mount on top of this. 
So that's how I make my flexible grow mount.